Hey folks, welcome, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mordecai the Hunter, and I'm here to help you shoot better at cowboy action. Yeah, I know I'm in street clothes, sorry. I'm in my backyard, and it's hot outside. Today, I just wanted to take a minute to talk about my gun cart. Um, originally, when I was coming up with this concept, I wanted something that could fold up really small and fit into a car. And then I also wanted something that didn't require any kind of special tools or anything like that. I've seen a lot of people out there that have really intricate and nice gun carts made out of wood. They've put a lot of work into them and I'm happy for you guys. This video isn't for you. This is basically aimed towards people that are either in an apartment or don't have a whole lot of skills or money or tools even. Basically this entire cart was made by buying a cheap cart from one of the big box stores and then I've made the frame out of PVC pipe and added some tool hooks in order to hold the guns on it. The other thing that I needed was what are called hose clamps. I bought an assortment from Harbor Freight because it was the cheapest thing that I could get and it also came with a just an assortment of a bunch of different ones because I didn't know how big they were going to need to be. I ended up using the one and a half inch hose clamps. So when you guys are making this cart, you don't have to buy the assortment. You can just go and buy the ones that you need. Okay, we're gonna continue the tour from behind the camera because I figured it'd be easier to point at stuff rather than trying to point at it from far away. So up close, uh, again, this is just a normal folding cart. And then what we've done here is I've got two pieces of PVC that I've attached with hose clamps. Um, if I was doing this again, I think I've got one kind of on the outside and then the other one's on the inside. You do want to make sure that you put them on the inside of this pipe here. Um, that way you don't run into this piece that folds up. And it's going to kind of push against this part of, right here, and that's okay. Um, just be aware of that. I think you could probably also get away with zip ties, but I liked the idea of using hose clamps because you can really tighten these down and make sure they're going to stay in place. Uh, when I was putting the side pipes on here, uh, I just used the top of the wheelbase as a guide. So uh, this is actually just like a little round nub right here that I just set the pipe on top, and then I ran it in line with the top of this. Um, I will note that there is a little bit of a curve. So when you look at the whole thing, it does kind of curve out a little bit, and that's okay. Um, when you get to this brace part here, it goes straight up and everything's fine. Uh, and everything is together real solid. Like it's not going to go anywhere, even if you're going over rough ground or whatever. Um, the next thing that I think is kind of important and I almost skipped was this brace right here. Um, the length or where you put this brace probably doesn't matter. If I was doing it again, I might put it just a little bit lower so that it kind of sat on top of this thing right here. Um, but you do want this brace here so that it holds your top piece together. What that also does is if you ever want to take this part off, you can leave the, um, you don't have to seal this bit. So if you want to use this for something other than a gun cart, like you wanted to take it camping or something like that, you could. You could just pull this part off and everything's fine. So I didn't add any kind of uh, sealant or cement or anything to this joint right here, specifically so that I could pull it apart if I needed to. Okay. Uh, next thing, we've got our top brace here. And I'll include uh, dimensions for all these, uh, either in the description or later in the video. So what I did was I did cement this piece on here just for stability. Um, what happens if you don't cement this piece right here is this will move up and down. Um, so as you're kind of cruising down the road or whatever, this will start to slip and then eventually it'll come down and all your guns will fall out and, then, and you'll be sad uh, like I was. So by adding cement, it makes it so that these pieces don't move up and down and it holds everything in place. Another option if you don't want to use tool hooks is to just make your own out of PVC and some extra connectors. You will definitely want to cement all of the pieces so it doesn't come apart while you pull your cart around. I think this was again another Harbor Freight special where it just had a bunch of different bungee cords. I had this one laying around. Um, you do want to have some kind of bungee or something to keep your guns in the tool hooks. If you cruise around your yard without this on, you will eventually have these fall out. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. But overall, again, I mean, we're looking at the cart itself. Um, I think I purchased two sets of this. I want to say this is three quarter inch PVC to do this just because I kind of made this cart a couple of times trying to figure out what I wanted to do. But overall, you could probably get away with one piece. And then we're looking at, you know, one, two, three, four connectors. Um, or if you don't have a drill and you wanted to get crazy, 
you know, you could do something like this. Um, and for this top part, they've got these three pieces. So this would be the top and then the first one coming out. And then you just have to cut smaller sections um, for your bits. When I, when I first made this, I had like a base going down at the bottom. Um, hang on a second. I'll show you what I was talking about. All right, we're back. So when I first made this stand, uh, the first thing that I tried to do is I basically, instead of having these on the inside of this bit, I actually tried putting it inside the cart itself to give it a little more stability uh, or so that I could pull it out if I needed to. And I started off with this base um, where basically the stock would fit in each one of these little openings. Um, but in order for me to make all of this work, I would have had to glue the stands into this part so that they wouldn't walk out as I was going over rough terrain. And I didn't really like how that made it so that you couldn't fold it down, which was kind of the whole point. I wanted this car to be able to fit into a small vehicle. So by having to glue this together to the top part, it didn't really make sense. And that's why I ended up giving up that idea and going with this part on the outside. So um, once you've got everything pulled out of this, and this holds all of like my camera gear, it holds my range bag, it holds water, uh, snacks, whatever. Um, I mean, obviously, because it's a huge cart, right? Like it's got all this space, look at all this space. But if when I, when I get done, once I pull all of my toys out of it, it folds down real nice. You know, it still folds down all the way into this little thing. So here we are folded. There we go. So you see it still comes down super tiny so you can just roll it into your truck or whatever. And uh, here again you can see as you start to fold it up it comes up against this bit. Um, so that's why you don't want that on the outside down low because it could run into this piece right here. Um, but even as we start to bring it together pretty close, like it runs into it, but not much. So you still got almost all of your foldability here, which is pretty awesome. So it still gets really tiny. And if it comes down to it, again, you can pop this off and pop that off. Okay, so now you've got it basically in the original size that it was before slash now it's you know your camping cart and so yeah anyway that's so that's why i left it unglued and then when you want to put them back you just kind of pop these guys like that and like that and you're ready to rock and roll again and like i said i've been walking around my yard for I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes, just trying to see if I could get this thing to break. And it's uh, held together really well. So we'll uh, we'll be at Land Run. We'll see if it falls apart then, but I have high hopes. All right, guys, I went ahead and came inside for the recap because it's Texas and it's hot outside. So to start, we have our PVC. I'm going to go over the measurements for that. We've got uh, this piece here, this piece, this piece, and this piece. So four total support pieces are all 14 inches long. Then we have two T connectors here, uh, and then our two horizontal pieces. These are 18 inches long. And then don't forget your two elbow pieces here. So we've got a total of four 14 inch support pieces, two 18 inch sideways pieces, your two T connectors, your two elbows, and then we've also got four tool hooks. You can get these pretty cheap at Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. Um, they do stick out a little bit here, so I just cut some extra pieces of pipe just to cover that. You could probably grind those off if you wanted to, but again, we're talking about people that don't have a whole lot of tools. So if you're in that camp, uh, the other thing I bought was just this assorted hose clamp thing from Harbor Freight. Again, I only ended up using the one and a half inch clamps, so you could probably get away with buying just four of those if you wanted to. I also purchased a PVC cutter. This was awesome. It made this job go super fast. I didn't have to saw through anything. I have a hand drill that I used to drill the holes for our tool hooks here. 
But if you don't want to do that, you don't have a drill, you don't want to drill whatever, you could also try fashioning your own tool hooks using additional T and this little three connector um, if you wanted to do that. And then the last thing, you're going to want to pick up some epoxy or some kind of glue. And again, that's to make sure that your tool hook, the, the row that holds your tool hook does not rotate for any reason, because that way they stay coming out sideways and they'll hold your guns the whole time. Alrighty, so here is just kind of a quick video of what it took to get the tool hooks into the piece of PVC pipe. Um, I ended up using a 5 16th inch drill, and I wasn't super precise about anything. I just kind of laid everything out the way I thought it would look correct. I marked it with a Sharpie and then started drilling. There's probably a more precise way to accomplish this, but I feel like it's probably more effort than it's worth. So I would say just do it and don't worry about it too much. If you don't like it and you want to redo it for some reason, you can always cut another piece of pipe and try again. One thing I do want to point out while we're here is to make sure that you have a piece of wood or something beneath the pipe so that as you're drilling through it, you don't cut into something important like the top of your bench or the floor or anything like that. Oh, and if you do end up having to cut another piece of pipe for this because you didn't like your first attempt or whatever, you can use that as the little scrap pieces to cover the back end of the tool hooks that stick out past the back of the pipe. I just happen to already have those pieces from previous attempts. And then of course the last thing I wanted to show you was just mixing the epoxy and applying it to the elbow joints at the top of the rack here. Um, it's a very simple process. I always thought it was going to be more complicated than it actually is, but you literally just buy an epoxy kit, squirt it onto a paper plate or something like that. I'm using a cotton ball applicator, but you can just use a popsicle stick or q-tip or whatever you have handy. The only tip I have here is I'm doing this inside, which is probably a mistake. Go outside where it's well ventilated and you're not inhaling any dangerous fumes or anything. All right, folks, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you or someone you know doesn't have a cart, hopefully this will make your life a little easier. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you all on the range.